Well, here we go, folks. I'm about to uh, change the seal on the derby cover. I was going to do my clutch and cable at the same time, but I don't know. I think I'll get a few more uh, a few more rides out of it. The seal is only two bucks, so I'm going to change the seal, see what happens. And then uh, maybe this week I'll go buy a new cable. So there's the condition. There's some kind of black crap smeared everywhere. And also get in all the shade And you can tell it's an old gasket right here. Queen Jenna awaits you. Gasket's in real bad shape. I can't believe that was thrown back in there. Look at this. So we got the new one right there. We got some chapstick to help it stick. And uh, if you look in there, I don't know if this is going to show up, but there's a little too much fluid in there. It's way past the plate. It's been dripping out, dripping out. So like. One of the problems is there's too much fluid, and the other problem is the gasket. Third problem, no anti-seize, no Loctite, no nothing on the, uh, no grease, no nothing on the uh, bolts. So anyway, we're into her. I decided to do the clutch later when I got more time. I just want to get out and ride for a bit, so I'll do the gasket, do the battery, and then later on I'll come back and do the clutch cable when I got more time. All right. I just wanted to show you guys something here. I noticed a couple scratches where somebody used a screwdriver or something in the past. And if you look, there's some blue gasket seal coming off underneath the black gook that's on there. People, you use gasket seal when you ain't got a gasket. You make a gasket with gasket seal. Look at this. You see all the blue and all the scratch? Hopefully it'll focus here. Check that out. I'll try to zoom out a bit. There you go. So anyway, we're taking our time using the coffee lid. Get this little groove here. It's pretty sturdy. You can put pressure on it and it will not scratch. So anyway. Just thought I'd share that with you people. Look how nice and clean I'm gonna get it, and then I'm gonna throw a fresh gasket in with some chap lip. Chapstick there to help it stick because I got no grease, so I'll just use chapstick. So there you go, nice and clean. No blue left, no black left anywhere. Maybe a little bit right in here. See everybody thinks this is a cocaine meal. But it's not. I don't do that shit. It's got a million and one uses, man. <laughs> so hopefully now down here is nice and clean. We'll use some chapstick to help the new gasket stick to it. We'll oil it and uh, see what happens. But there's definitely too much oil in there. Right. So this is what I mean about the chapstick, folks. Just uh, one of my daughters cheap chapsticks and you see you put it all around the one side that's going to connect to the metal so for those of you wondering about chapstick and saying what the hell am I talking about there you go man a lot cheaper than the lithium grease and uh, doesn't leak all over your little tool kit so throw one of those in your tool bag man on your bike never know when you'll need it so there you go there's my new gasket in place and you see how well it sticks with the chapstick folks, it's beautiful. Now what I'm going to do, stick my finger in here, get a bit of oil on it, and we're going to go around, and yes I'm done barbecuing now, I don't know if you guys realized I was barbecuing, but just so you know, now this is going to my food, I wouldn't mind, but the old lady and the kids might. I swear I got this in my veins. This makes me want to have a beer so bad. But we drink one is done. Oh god, I'm against the clock. As you see, I got some rain clouds above me here sprinkling. <laughs> so it's a race against time. I'm telling everybody stay out of the rain and 
make sure you fix your bike right and take it to a reputable shop and don't monkey around yourself and here I am sitting in the rain monkeying my bike <laughs> I'm a hypocrite all right now I need both my hands for this part so see you when I get the cover on all right folks there you go I got it done just in time I'll get it down off the jack cuz uh, it's starting to rain we're done just in the nick of time as you see <laughs> so I gotta get the uh, get on plug never well folks I uh, started uh, working on the Harley today uh, looks like I fixed the seal and the drip change the seal and uh, I tightened up the uh, drain plug and all that stuff and all my hoses so looks like I pretty much got it but my light wasn't working now Harley Davidson has these dual I guess pin dual pin sockets but it's crimped into this now the wires are fucked and uh, they expect you to ground it to the chassis so you got two hots and you ground it to the chassis of uh, this to the frame of the bike and that gives you a running light and a signal light well I don't care about running lights man if I want to be seen I'll put friggin fog lights or something on my bike later but I, I don't care about that I don't even use signal lights so <clears throat> I use hand signals for those you wondering like so I'm gonna try to solder this connection without having to take it apart and get a single element, single filament to work on my bike and get it just flashing. You know what I'm saying? Then one ground, one hot, that's it. So let's see what happens. So I thought I would share this with you guys. After the trouble I had uh, looking for a socket, here's a socket. I took it apart. Now, what I did is I pushed the pin out. And all I did is put it back in with a piece of wire going through between it and the plastic. And that's what I'm going to do on the other side here with that. Now what I'm going to use is that. I'm just going to stick this piece I got ready through the hole. Okay. And then I'm going to push the pin through. And that will hold this snug against the, between the plastic and the pin. And then I can solder my wire onto the back of it. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you again. Show you another view. Sorry, I'm working through the camera here. You can see how I did that. So again, it's wedged between the pin and the plastic. So there shouldn't be any more short issues right there, right? All right, folks. So hopefully this focuses for you. Can you see what I did there? So it's wedged between the pin and the plastic and now all I'm going to do is cut it right there as close as I can to the top of that pin. And now I got something to solder. So there it is ready to go back in. I know two red wires but I didn't want to buy spend eight bucks on black wire too right now so Anyway, you see I shrink wrapped it just to protect it a bit more and I uh, have myself lots of water so hopefully this is going to work. As you can see YouTube, it's been a couple hours and no drip. Woohoo! Compared to what it was dripping, look at this. There's no drip. Yeehaw! It's been a few hours. It's uh, cleared up outside now. You saw what I did here to repair the, the little connectors? Well, stupid me, I want to put just signal lights with no running lights, but the socket inside here, the connector is dual. The bulbs I bought are single. <laughs> so, in order for that to work, I'm going to have to... Uh, go by different sockets so we're just gonna put this light together real quick before it gets dark it's fixed I'll have running lights the other one works so it's not a big deal but somewhere down the road we're gonna change the fronts just like we did 
on the back here and just have a signal element. That way it's a lot cheaper and easier to get the bulb and uh, replace it when necessary, just like I did with the backlight. Alright, for those of you that don't know about my backlight, I took the LED board out of there, out of the tombstone, and I put just a regular 12 volt bulb. It's a lot easier and cheaper than replacing the board. Works great too on my dad. Well, there it is all uh, wired up and I now have signal lights on this side. This side works. But now, my headlight, running lights, and tail light quit. 